Hi everyone and welcome to this episode of the Fret Success Gear Review. Today I've got my hands on the new American Professional 2 Jazzmaster. Guitarworks in Calgary have kindly lent me this to play and demo for you guys, so it's uh, real nice of them to do that, so if you're after a guitar, check them out. There's a few updates since the uh, last version of this, so um, they've actually kept the deep C uh, neck, um, but as a smooth kind of rolled fingerboard edges, so it's just taking the edge off, which is quite nice. They've upgraded the back of the neck, in my opinion, by having this smooth kind of satin finish. Um, it's kind of more of an opaque look, um, but really nice in the hands. It, it feels weird. It feels almost like plastic in a way, but it, it obviously isn't. It's really, really nice finish and has no resistance whatsoever like you would have in a traditional kind of maple neck feel with the kind of normal um, finish that they put on there. There's actually a sculpted neck heel as well, so they've got us uh, a little bit more of an opening there. They kind of rounded the edge off to give us a bit more um, flexibility as we get further up the neck, which is nice. Um, two of the V-Mod 2 single coil pickups. Um, they have apparently more articulation and chime, and I have played this already, so I can attest that they are sounding pretty tasty. Um, they're voiced specifically for each position, which is quite nice to see, uh, because I find the neck one has far too much uh, low end and, and gets a bit muddy sometimes, so it's nice that that's uh, been taken care of. Uh, they're slightly overwound uh, for punch and a bit more presence. Uh, the bridge pickup can actually be tapped, so just a push of a button, you get back into the vintage sound, um, kind of simplifying the circuit a bit there, uh, taking that back to more of a vintage, uh, thinner, low gain sound, uh, rather than the cranked full system with the, the push up down. There's two switches here if you're not familiar with the Jazzmaster. Um, so we've got the, the traditional switch here, which is like a Telecaster, so you've got neck, bridge pickup, and then you've got the um, kind of middle position for the both pickups. And then that keeps them in parallel, but you can actually switch up here to go what they call the rhythm. So that's the lead setting. Flick that switch up, and then we get onto this kind of rhythm setting, which is where the pickups are actually wired in series. And this whole section takes is taken out of control. Uh, and then we switch to these kind of, uh, you have a volume pot, a roller style one. No idea why they did the roller version, but it's been there for years. And then we've got the uh, treble tone pot there, which is nice. Uh, for a bit of difference. So you can actually have quite a bit of tonal variety there, so you could switch um, between the two. With that rhythm switch engaged, you get more of a thicker tone, and it's definitely louder because we've got them wide in series. There's a new panorama tremolo system, which has increased the range apparently, and you can actually lock that in place so it stops it going up. You can get deeper dives out of it, but we can actually still get that Jazzmaster warble that we want, you know, synonymous with that kind of surf sound, which is interesting. Um, but I like the way it pushes in and out, pops in and out, and then we have the nice kind of um, glide over bridge there that's quite nice. Uh, and the trim can pop in and out quite nicely. Uh, there's a nice feature here with the bone nut at the top, rosewood fingerboard um, on this one in particular, but they do have options with maple neck. Uh, 22 frets and they're tall and narrow, so that helps to maintain intonation up the neck, so it sounds nice up the neck as you go up. There's actually five color options. This is the Dark Knight, which actually reminds me of the Pelham Blue. Um, that you get in the Gibson range, so it's a really nice finish. It's a nice kind of metallic blue. Um, they've also got the three color sunburst, the mercury, which is kind of a gray, kind of metallic-y color, then the Miami blue, which is like awesome color, and then they've got the Mystic Surf Green. Uh, actually comes with a hard case, um, so it's a full package really for a relatively good value as well. Um, so nice, I'm really digging the kind of feel of the neck. So we'll, we'll play through this now uh, in a few options. So we'll go through a clean setting, a crunch setting, and a, a kind of high gain setting uh, through each of the pickup systems. So the lead section and the rhythm section, um, and then try and vary some of the tone around. The Jazzmaster was originally designed to be a jazz guitar, but we've actually seen it used in many other different hands, you know, like um, in the rock scenes, surf guitar it became popular in. Um, and it's generally seen quite nicely uh, in all sorts of genres now. Um, but I think it's quite a nice version of the Stratocaster, but with a little more options kind of for tonal range. So it's nice uh, with a bit more of a flexible uh, tremolo system. So let's dive into the sounds now. So first of all, we'll go through the uh, clean sound on the bridge pickup. So we're kind of bypassing this down to lead section. Everything's cranked up uh, high and we're getting a bit of buzz just from the amp, but just bear with me on that. So we'll just dig into some clean sounds.
let's switch into the neck pick up there and get a bit more of a different zone. Not too deep, not too muffled, so it's nice kind of present clarity, I like that. Switch them both on together and we get this kind of more like uh, funky sound. So nice, that kind of popped uh, trebly, but kind of maintained nice, not not like loads of low end and muffling stuff. A nice balanced sound. Uh, so let's now switch to the rhythm cir circuit, which is the kind of using these tone controls here. So everything's bypassed now. Kind of uh, vintage vibe. Uh, I quite like the way that the, that the series pick up sound together. Um, so quite simple setup really. Uh, one thing we'll just try now is we'll switch back to the lead setting and just pop that out to more of a vintage sound. <laughs> Nice kind of vintage twangy sound, almost like a Telecaster. So going back to the full on uh, circuitry. Definitely a fuller sound, but it just opens up everything tonally. So let's go to a crunch setting uh, on the bridge, on the uh, lead circuit. Up now. Then in the middle. Back to the vintage circuit and get a bit of lower gain on there. Okay. 
so now we'll dive into the high gain stuff just to finish off. <laughs> Onto neck pickup. Tap to vintage. circuit. So hopefully you'll agree, there's definitely a full sweep of sounds you can get from this thing. So like the clean sounds great, it's nice and defined, it's beautiful to play, like the, I never felt like I was struggling with anything. It really uh, stands out, very present, um, but also maintains clarity, but not with too much harshness. The only thing I would say is in the middle, both pickups on the distortion setting, um, on the lead circuit, is a little bit harsh. I find it's a little bit unbalanced, but I don't tend to use that sound too much when I'm on high gain anyway, so I'm not too bothered too much about that. So I think the main features with this are the pickups just sound, they sound great on this thing. I think I don't miss uh, the just kind of Stratocaster sound if you were between the two. I think that this is a nice little thing that has a lot of extra options on it. I like the feel of the satin neck, I think that's a big thing. And the kind of rounded top uh, and the edges of the fingerboard are really, really nice. I think that's a really nice touch. The, the differences are really subtle. I think getting up here higher with that neck heel that's been reduced is really nice, not having that thing just kind of getting in your way. Uh, the colour is unreal, it's really deep to look at and just a nice thing to watch. Um, so thanks again to everyone at Guitar Works for making this happen. So they lent me the guitar, so it's fantastic. Guitar Works in Calgary, um, if you need a guitar, I think they ship uh, free nationwide across Canada anyway, so uh, it's a no-brainer. So thanks so much guys for watching and I will see you in the next video.